I, I received a question by a woman whose husband is uh, Roman Catholic and, and very staunch Roman Catholic. And, and of course, she's a Northlander, but they agreed that they'd kind of go to each other's churches, uh, which I think is great. And, but her question is about communion. And her question has to do with, when I go to the Roman Catholic Church, I can't take communion because I'm not of that fellowship. And so when he comes to Northland, he doesn't feel right taking communion, communion maybe because he's just had communion at the Catholic Church. Um, is communion open to everyone at our church? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, communion is for all believers. And it doesn't matter what denomination you've been in, what, what your belief system has been. If you trust in Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is your meal. And so everyone's welcome at the table at Northam because it's not Northam's table. It, it's Christ's table. But the second thing I would say implied in this is, can you take communion too often? And the Bible would say, no. And in, a, in a way of speaking, the original Christian, Christians took communion every day because it was it was their it was their um, um, their love feast their their agape feast and 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 it was remember they went from house to house breaking bread and that's 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 a way of saying they took communion together they ate a full meal together the Bible says this it says as oft as ye shall do it do this in remembrance of me. And so it doesn't say how often. Some churches only take communion like once a quarter. Um, some churches take communion every week. But the point is, you can take communion a couple of times in the same day. Just do it in remembrance of Christ. Just do it in his honor. And, and the frequency is not as important as who you do it for and, and who comes near to you during your partaking.